So I stand outside and I say, let's look at the roof first. We want to know that's a big expense. So let's first thing you want to do is get that thing dry, right? So we're going to, we're going to back up. We're going to take a look at the roof. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to look at the, the chimney. I'm going to look at the brick pointing on the chimney. I'm going to look at the gutter system on the top uh, and how it flows down and how those downspouts are coming down. Look at the brick and the foundation. Do we have any vertical cracks? Vertical cracks don't bother me. The horizontal ones do, you know, and like, what? There's a crack right here. That's fine. You know, we quarter inch on each side, hydraulic cement, this side, we dig down to make sure it's not going too deep. We look inside the building, not a problem. I said, these are things that other investors are looking at them. They're like, oh, there's water in the basement. I love water in the basement. I love it. I walk mm. in, I'm like, yes, water in the basement, because I know how to fix it. It's always a drain, especially here in Pennsylvania. Back in the day, right, they would take those gutters and they'd bury them into the cement, right? And then yeah. they'd, they'd run it outside to the, well, it always fails at some point. First thing I do, cut those things off, fill up a bag of cement. So when I walk up to a building, and I identify a corner and I say, see this corner? Remember when we go in the basement, there's going to be water right there. Mm-hmm. When we walk down to that basement and there's water in that corner, they're like, what? And I'm like, I can fix that. You can fix that easily. <laughs> Somebody else is walking down here saying, oh my God, water in the basement. And I'm like, yes, water in the basement. Um, so it's when I walk around and I say, you know, we talk about capital expenditures versus maintenance. If you get it leased up and you have, you know, you have tenants in there and then you're working on certain things. Those are maintenance. You can write that off 100 percent if it's capital expenditures over 27 and a half years, you know, and I'm just trying to just guide, lead and educate as much as I can. Mm-hmm.